Good morning, everybody. Today we are bringing the bikes to a good friend who has organized the transport to Andalusia, and we will join or reunite with our bikes in a little bit less than two weeks in Malaga. For today, it's just time to hop on it. It's a not so nice day, five degrees, a little bit of rain, but uh, has to be done. Bikes need to get there. Welcome to Wilder Minds. We're a bunch of friends that love to go on motorcycle adventures probably as much as you do. We're neither pro riders nor full-time YouTubers, but we do our best to bring you valuable high-quality content. On this channel, you join us on our trips, we talk about filmmaking for riders and share useful technical topics from our real-life experience. If you like what we're doing, leave a like and subscribe to push this channel. Don't forget to activate notifications so you don't miss an episode. Seems like I've been wrong about the weather. It's still five degrees and chilly, but at least it's not raining, so a lot better. <laughs> well, Why we're going there, it's a good time to test the new camera setup. We always had the problem that we did not know how to record audio. Last time we tried to hook up a separate Sena unit oops, and connect it to the camera, which sometimes worked, sometimes did not. This time we went with the Sena 50C. I'm using for the first time right now. Um, uh, we will see how this goes. Damn, it's chilly. Fresh tires are a bit slippery, but anyway. Now look at this beautiful, wintry, northern German landscape. This is what you get when you live here. All winter long, temperatures between 2 and 10 degrees, well, 2 to 8 degrees, I'd say. A lot of rain. Sun almost never shines. But this is why we're going to Andalusia for trips like this. Last time I checked the weather forecast, we've always been around. Well, the, the lowest we got there was 15 degrees Celsius, highest was 25. Spring is coming to Andalusia and we have two weeks left until we get there. I'm pretty confident that we're getting some pretty good weather and I packed super light. Also the riding gear is packed for warmer climate. Engine control light is on. I'm pretty sure it's because I messed around a lot with the wiring and disconnected the speedo multiple times and uh, tried to get the, the cockpit set up a bit more clean and smooth. Um, yeah, I think my friend at the garage will reset it. It's sad that you cannot reset it or yourself. At least I don't know how to do it. If you know, if it's possible, maybe with a press of a few buttons, please let me know in the comments super helpful otherwise one day I will have to buy a dongle but nothing serious going on with the engine everything is fine and here we are yeah. morning am I the first 
anybody here yet? What's going on? All right. Where is everybody? That's the stuff you're dealing with when you're recording on the road. Multiple USB charging ports, extra microphone cables, freestyle electric, exhaust sound. Let's see how this works. Bike is repaired. It's so easy sometimes. So here's the lineup for the trip. We got one tannery and a tannery, a tannery, a tannery, a tannery, and this, whatever this is. <laughs> That's it, bikes are off to Andalusia. 10 more days for us until we follow. Meanwhile, here's a little recap of our trip from last year. Andalusia 2023, what a ride it has been. Too much to cover in a few minute video, so there is a full episode already in the making. But as we are preparing for another trip to Spain's wild south right now, a few flashbacks to last year are perfect to get us in the right mood. Our last journey through this breathtaking landscape was nothing short of exhilarating, but it was also filled with unexpected challenges. Three flat tires tested our resilience, not to mention the clutch I sacrificed on a steep uphill. Trails around Granada would have been fun on a small enduro bike, but they showed me where my limit was when it comes to riding a Tenere in this terrain. This trip reminded us that in the world of off-roading, adversity is just another part of the adventure. Okay, just a super, super quick update. We are stranded in Granada. My, uh, my clutch is fried, it's really toast. We were super lucky we found this uh, Yamaha shop and um, it's closed, it's Sunday. But uh, we waited outside and uh, made plans on where to spend the night and suddenly a guy arrived and he said, hey, this is my shop, do you need anything? 
and uh, they had a ride out today with uh, all the mechanics and employees and customers and they're all coming here and uh, they told us we can leave all our bikes inside of the shop and they will check the bikes tomorrow and we'll repair everything and uh, we shall not worry everything will be fine Overall, the technicality of Andalusia's trails surprised us, forcing us to adapt and make tough decisions like cutting our planned route in half. But it's said that where the problems start is where the adventure begins, and that's why we came for. We're looking forward to having you on board this channel for Andalusia Round 2. We're taking off March 2024, and we can't wait to see what challenges await us this time.